Okay, so now I'm going to show you a slightly more advanced item, and this one is specific to Windows. On my Windows virtual machine here, if I open the event viewer and open Windows logs, application, security, setup, etc., they all have these event IDs. We can monitor these event IDs in Zabbix. So I'll show you how to do one of them. And that will be a security failed logon. Okay, so using the template that we've been working on so far, go into its items and we'll create a new item. So create item. I'm going to call this failed logon. This is a Windows event ID specific for failed logon needs to be Zabbix agent active and the key is here event log event log monitoring and returns a log so click that okay for the name it's security that's the name there security event log security for the regex just put nothing for the severity do nothing for the source do nothing and for the event ID, 4625, max lines, do nothing, leave the default. And for mode, do skip. On the Zabbix documentation, this is a Windows specific item key, event log. So this is what we've just done. There's some examples there. For the last one, mode, I chose to use skip. That is not the default. That's because the first time this item is run, if I didn't put skip, it would scan every single event log in the computer, and that can take quite a while. So I'm only interested in what's going to happen from now on in terms of that event ID 4625. So that's why I've used the option skip. And there's some more information about the different properties there. But the event ID was the most important one, and also the name, the name of the event log. And it says here it must be configured as an active check. Also, the type of information was log. Update interval one minute. I'll create a new application called security. And that's it. I'm going to keep my data for 90 days and just add that. Okay. Event ID 4625 failed logon. The two hosts that use this template that is the laptop here and the MS Edge Win. Well, the laptop switched off, but the MS Edge Win switched on. They're both behind the proxy, so I need to restart the proxy so the proxy is aware of the new items. So that's config cache reload. Okay, that's done. Now my MS Edge win here. I'm just going to close that. I'm just going to shut it down and then reconnect to it. Using VirtualBox, just press start. Okay, let's just look at latest data, monitoring latest data. And already I can see down here there's a new event ID 4625 failed logon. But there's nothing in the history. There's no latest data yet, so there's nothing to see. But I'm just going to look at the history there. Look at last five minutes. And now go onto my MS Edgewin and generate some failed logons. Okay, so that's the MS Edgewin there. Click it and just generate failed logon incorrect try again now that's only one failed logon i can do lots of them but i'm just going to do one okay and just wait for a minute for that to update and there we go that now shows in zabbix ben id 4625 failed logon and this is the text from the event log in windows it's quite a lot of information there but that's basically it the event id was 4625 and the account user which it failed for was this one here ie user so i can just start monitoring that on every host that uses that item there yeah. okay so many people have problems setting up this one as you saw i didn't have any problems at all it's going to log in to MS Edge Win. 
one of the issues that you might have is the Zabbix agent here if I open up services when it was installed it logs on as the local system account that's the permission Zabbix agent needs in order to be able to read the event logs if you manage your Windows hosts or workstations slightly differently then you can look at this page here minimum permission level for Windows agent items all of these item keys here the recommended permission is that and that's the minimum technically acceptable permission for a particular thing so event log recommended permission for Zabbix user if you're going to manage it is event log readers if you use guests it says functionality is limited so if your Zabbix agent user is a guest user it's very unlikely to work you can probably get something but but not 4625 okay so configuration templates windows basic items nine items look at this again zabbix agent active that was the text there we'll zoom into it event log security comma 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 four six two five comma comma skip leave that off it will be all and it'll scan all the old event logs that it has in history and it can take a little while before you can actually see anything so there we go type of information log update interval whatever you want i've chose one minute and i put it into the security application excellent